Hi, this is Scott Garibay. Today I'm going to be talking about Flip Ships from Renegade Games. So I saw uh, Flip Ships is a brand new 2017 board game. It, I saw it demoed at PAX Unplugged. And I got to play it three times. And it was super fun. I would actually say it was the funnest game. If you're just talking sheer fun, it was the funnest game I saw at um, PAX Unplugged. Okay? Uh, so Renegade and Renegade Games is pretty large. They they have pretty good support for their for their games, and this Flip Ships is really unique. So Flip Ships is a cooperative cooperative game, and it's a dexterity game. Okay, so what you get in the box is um, you get I think maybe about fifty to a hundred of these flipping pog ships. So pogs are uh, essentially. Pieces, circular pieces of cardboard, almost like a game tile, okay? But they're light and, and they flip, right? So think of a coin made of, um, like, tile, of game board tile, okay? Uh, but they're circular, all right? So those are the ships. And then what you have is you have a long track that's laid out, which is, and what that track is, there's a long board game track. It's actually, it looks to be about two and a half to three feet long. And uh, you put this on the table. So the way you put you 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 set up flip ships is you set up at the be at the edge of a table, and everybody's going to have to stand, right? So it's a very unusual game, right? And so you 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 set up your player. Each one of your players is going to take turns. They're going to come to the edge of the table, and then you know the table will go longwise, right? And uh, they're going to flip ships from the edge of the table toward the mothership. And let me give the theme of this game now. So the theme of the game is that there is an invasion on Earth, okay? A mothership flies in from space, and uh, and it is the invasion of the Earth. And this alien race intends to kill everyone on Earth and destroy the Earth, okay? Now, you and all the players are, are essentially playing Earth's uh, star, you know, star navy. And you're going to use these fighter ships to fight away the invaders, okay? So the way it works is you have this long... So you, so the way you work is you, you find the edge of the table and you set up this wooden red um, piece of wood, okay? Uh, and it, and it, what it does is it actually um, acts as a, uh, a lifter for the pogs, okay? So it's a launching pad where you're going to flip from, and so it's perfect that it's the perfect distance from your thumb. You can actually put your, you know, your your fist down on the table, and then you can flip flick this pod forward. Now the pod gets flipped forward, and where it's flipping into is a range of cards, cards which are set out on the table in rows of two or three rows, and each of the cards is an invading alien ship. Okay, that is that is coming toward you as the player. Okay, and with and you as the player are in the position of Earth. Okay, now when when the alien ships reach Earth, when they reach the player position, they do damage. Right now, the damage to to Earth. Okay, the damage to the uh, to Earth's Star Navy is twenty points. So if the if the invading forces do twenty points of damage to the Star Navy. That means they have penetrated through Earth's defenses and they take Earth over, okay? But if the Star Navy knocks out all the ships, right? And in addition to that, does, and actually, I'm sorry, if the Star Navy does 20 points of damage to the ship, then you can actually, uh, then essentially there's, you've opened a route for some of your, your fighter ships to go in and actually destroy directly the mothership. Right, I think you can also win if you destroy all of the cards that are advancing forward toward you. Okay, now uh, so basically you get very good at flipping these pogs onto these cards. Right now, over on the left side though, the pogs are piled up onto these special ability cards. So when you take those special abilities, the the cards that are over on the on the left, they give your ships like special abilities like. Uh, destroy one ship, destroy any any ship that the pog lands on, and one ship to the left, right? And it might be like sideways laser cannon, you know, that kind of thing. And so it, the game has a lot of flexibility. Each game, can, you know, looks a little different than the last. But at the end of the day, it's a fun 
cooperative dexterity game where you're flipping these pogs onto cards that are laid out onto the table. And then when you're all done, this is one of the coolest parts of the game, you want, you're, you want to destroy the mothership. Well, the mothership is actually a tall cardboard bucket, essentially. So it has four walls, and it's just these pieces of cardboard that slot into each other, but it's themed like a mothership. And it's it's small. It's about, uh, you know, it's maybe about uh, five feet high by about five feet, uh, I'm sorry, five inches high by about five inches square. And the walls form a bucket. And if you flip two fighters directly into the mothership, you blow it up. And it is tough, right? And so when you hit when you hit the mothership, when you flipped one of your ships into the mothership, everybody at the table was like, oh, you know, like it's like really, it's almost like goal, you know, like for a soccer game. It's really cool. And so the game is really fight exciting and fun. It's really different. I've never seen anything like it, right? Um, I really liked it a lot. I would recommend it for purchase. However, I do want to say something. It costs $40. Now, I do think you're getting your money's worth. It, it does seem like, it, it looks like a lot of time and effort went into it. The theme is very strong on the game. The game is not gonna look like anything else you've played. One problem with it is I really, 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 this is such a beautiful, fun game. I don't think it should have been cooperative. And the reason why is, if you guys are like me, uh, you have a group of, of board gaming friends, right? And half of them, you say cooperative, and they're out. I'm out, I'm out, I'm out, right? Like, they don't want to win together. They don't want to lose together. Cooperative games, which is a little bit sad, they just, like, there are people who, like, the moment that word is even whispered, people are out, right? So, you know, and I get that. I mean, I, cooperative games are not my favorite games either. I will play them, but just, mostly because I love board games, not because I love cooperative games. So I really wish that Renegade Games had made this non-cooperative and had given away for players to compete and I will bet you a million to one that somebody will produce it like a rule set where you could do that might even be in this rule but it but it's designed to be a cooperative game um, but it looks like Space Invaders and I also I didn't talk about the cards the cards are really really well designed so when you take a card out it has a number in the corner a big number in the corner it might say three and that would be you would take three points off the light off the hit points of the mothership right or you're actually penetrating the mothership's defenses, okay? And then once you get that 20 down, you have to, you literally have to flip two pogs into the mothership or the mothership destroys the earth, right? And so often you're gonna, you're gonna end up losing and that, you know, um, and that's, that's significant too, right? Um, so, so that's kind of interesting. Um, the other thing is, as far as the value for dollar, uh, it is, a, I think that's kind of pricey, $40 for a board game. Um, I think it would have been great if this had been 30, maybe even 20. This thing would have flown off the shelves if it was 20. But I definitely think that, you know, they put a lot of time and effort into it. There's a lot of art in this game, and it really is unique. I think it's worth the price, but it is a little high. I, I would not say this, this game is a bargain or even, but I would say it is worth what is being paid for it. I think it's, you know, it's, but it's a little on the line, right? Um, so that is my take on uh, flip ships. It's really unique, and also I will say, I think there's a lot of modern board gamers where you know forty dollars isn't a big deal. If forty dollars isn't a big deal, this is a must buy. This is a absolutely get it. Uh, if you're on the line, maybe you know a Christmas gift or something. Uh, but it's really unique. It's a fun game. If you bust this out at a party, people are going to be playing it out all night. Uh, really, really unique game. Flip Ships. I played it at uh, at the demos at Penny uh, Pax Unplugged 2017. Uh, Renegade Games did a great job of building this game, great job of demoing it, and I think it's a really cool new game for 2017. Take care.